Hello everyone and welcome back to another painting tutorial. However, in this tutorial we'll be focusing on basing. See, I'll be using a new material to do my basing and my terrain with, and I wanted to show you exactly how I go about that. I hope you will enjoy this tutorial to step up your basing game. Let's begin. All right guys, so this is ready mixed concrete patch. It's a very common material, so you should be able to find this material at your local hardware store anywhere in the world. This material came up in a conversation I had with my friend Craig Turner. Link to his Instagram is down in the description. He had been trying to find pumice, but ended up with this instead. It was very fortunate since I've actually been looking to replace uh, the pumice that I've been using because I didn't really care for the shrinkage it had in its drying process. For this large jug of concrete patch, I spent about seven to eight dollars, and this should last you probably through several army projects, if not that plus display boards. There's a lot of concrete in here. The other toppings that I'm going to be using in this tutorial are all optional. You don't have to use them. You can use something else, or you can just use the concrete patch if you want to make a desert base. You do, however, need to use something similar to or an actual small pellet knife, and you also need a base. The materials I'm using here for the toppings are fine ballast, medium ballast, coarse ballast, aquarium rocks, and lastly some citadel skulls. Most importantly, you also need gloves. The first step is to grab your base and your pellet knife. Uh, scoop up some ready-made concrete with your pellet knife and apply it to the base. I work the concrete patch onto the base and what is the most amazing thing about this material is that you can sculpt it very nicely. Since there is very little to no shrinkage, it will keep the shapes that you make. I am also scraping the sides down to make sure that the edges are clean from any concrete material. Once I am happy with the concrete foundation, I take some aquarium rocks and stick them onto the concrete. I use rocks of different size here to make it nice and diverse. By sticking them into the concrete patch, it looks more natural that the rocks is actually inside the ground a bit. The second topping I'm using is coarse ballast. I don't overdo this as you don't want to get too many larger rocks on the ground. Remember that even if the material feels small to you, the scale of these rocks are quite large for the scale of your miniatures. Once I have applied the coarse ballast, I take my pellet knife and lightly push the coarse ballast into the concrete patch to make sure it adheres to the base properly. After the coarse ballast, I take the medium ballast and sprinkle it onto the base and follow the same steps as for the coarse ballast. I then apply the fine ballast to the base. With this you can be a little bit more liberal, as this is closer to the size of rocks you could actually walk on in the scale with your models. Pat this down very lightly as with the previous steps to thoroughly lock it into the cement. Lastly I apply a couple of skulls to the base. I use my palette knife here to embed them into the ground a bit to make it look like they've been there a while. For this step, you can use whatever colors you want. I'm going to use XV88, Agrixar Shade, Ushapti Bone, Seraphim Sepia, and Pallid Witch Flesh. After priming the whole base black, I apply a layer of XV88. Don't water this layer down too much as you want the bit of thickness to the paint to lock in all of the toppings that we have on the base. However, be careful with the skulls so that you don't clog any detailing on them. Once the XV88 has dried, we apply a wash of Agrax Earthshade. When the wash is dried for about an hour, it's time to buff it back up with XV88 using dry brush. For this I'm using a size 10 flat brush. You want to specifically use a flat brush here, not the filbert that some have mistaken it for. When you dry brush, you want to make sure the paint is dry enough to not be caked onto the base. If it does cake a bit, dry off the brush with a paper towel and continue. You can spot wash this down a bit after this step. It's a bit hard to tell the difference at this step, but this step is very important as it helps to really set a foundation for the Ushapti bone we're gonna dry brush up next. 
For the first Yoshapti Bone dry brush, I don't use a clean brush. I go straight in with the Yoshapti Bone and let it mix with the XV88 residue on the brush already. This helps to make it a bit smoother as you go along. And lastly, I apply a dry brush of just pure Yoshapti Bone using a clean brush. Now that the ground is done, we want to bring the skulls out a little bit more. For this I apply a pure layer of Shapti Bone onto the skulls. After this I apply a semi-wet dry brush uh, using Pallid Witch Flesh and a Shapti Bone mix. About 50-50 is alright. After this I use a fine brush and apply a highlight of pure Pallid Witch Flesh on the eyebrow line, top of the nose and top of the cranium. After this, I paint the base of the rim black. As you can see now, I applied a couple of grass tufts to the base. These are from Shadow's Edge Miniature. Link can be found below in the video description. I glue these down using super glue. While the glue dries, I apply a wash of sepia to the cracks and other small details of the skulls. I do this where I really want to shade the skulls down a little bit more. This also helps to bring in another tone of brown. I then put a wash of Agrax Earthshade to the base of all the grass tufts. Once the wash has dried, I apply some Shapti Bone to the top of the plants. This helps to bring out the tips and also use the same paint as the ground to keep the light consistent. Alright, this is how I do naturalistic basing. Now, there are plenty of different ways to do basing, this is just one of them. But I hope that you've enjoyed the tutorial and want to try this out. Don't hesitate to tag me in any posts on social media at Oscar Lars. I always enjoy seeing your attempts using these tutorials. Thank you so much for watching this video tutorial. I want to thank our patrons for their support. Mark Alexander, Seamus, Mark Mitzman, Jonathan Edlin, Jason D. Fluffer, Carl Martin, Matt Rutowski, Mike Elkins, and Joseph Larson. If you want to contribute to these tutorials so that we can continue to improve them, please follow the links below to our Patreon page. Any help is appreciated. If you cannot contribute yourself, that's totally fine. This is why it's free. Give us a like, subscription, and a comment and tell us about your project or if you have any wishes for tutorials you want to see in the future. I also want to thank everybody who purchased one of my shirts. If you want to get one of my sweet screen printed eco-friendly shirts, please follow the links below. Editing for this video was done by Martin Kramer. Palette and painting handle used is from Redgrass Games. You can purchase them and any other Redgrass products by going to oscarlars.com shop. When using any links there, Redgrass Games will automatically contribute a small percentage to these videos. The base and other painting handle are from Games Workshop. Thank you to everyone who watched this video. Have an awesome rest of your day and happy painting!